Dr. Mindy here, and on this video, I'm gonna show you five of my favorite strategies for maximizing autophagy. So if you're new to my channel, I just wanna say welcome. I'm a woman on a mission. I am trying to change the world by teaching people the principles of fasting. I wanna get a million people here this year so that we can use the tools of fasting to overcome chronic disease. So hit the notification button, hit the subscribe button, and dive into, gosh, I have hundreds, over 600 videos here for you to learn the art of fasting. So welcome. And those of you that share my videos out, you know how much I appreciate you guys. Those of you that leave comments, love it. Those of you that leave your fasting miracle stories, love it. This is an incredible community and I just love being on this journey with you all. So thank you so much for participating in this experience with me. Okay, let's start off with this. If you're brand new to my channel, you might be like, okay, this lady is really enthusiastic. This is lady's really crazy about some word called autophagy. So if you're not familiar with what autophagy is, let me just give you the basic understanding of what it is. It is cellular repair. If you have not been told by your doctor, which you should have been told, you came pre-programmed with cells that are 72 trillion of them, by the way, that are so intelligent, they know how to heal themselves. And when you take food out of the equation, something called autophagy will be stimulated. And this autophagy effect will start to clean up the cells so your cells start to realize, hey, food's not coming in, I better make this cell more efficient. You can actually regenerate cells. So like we love autophagy for any damaged neurons in the brain. I've talked about the power of autophagy for hormonal health because the ovaries and the testes are very, very easily influenced by autophagy. So it is an incredible tool for brain health, hormonal health, and to overcome any bad living that you might have had years ago. It is never too late to reset your health. And when you tap in to a system and a healing power like autophagy, you will be blown away by what your body's capable of doing. Now, how do you do that? Okay, there are five keys. This is kind of goes with five keys to stimulate it and then five key, keys once you stimulate it to keep it going, to maximize it. So key number one, you are going to need to start to fast more than 17 hours. At 17 hours, what happens is autophagy gets turned on. But you've probably heard me talk about these different switches that happen. With autophagy, it's more like a dimmer switch. Like you will start to slowly turn up the healing benefits. So if you know, gosh, I have a lot of memory loss. Oh my gosh, I've been really, I didn't know that I was killing myself with standard American diet. I really wanna lose weight. I really wanna overcome my menopause symptoms. If you are in that boat and you wanna use autophagy at 17 hours, it starts. And it will peak at 72 hours. So you're gonna wanna stay within that range between 17 hours and 72 hours. That's gonna be your sweet spot for fasting. If that sounds very overwhelming, join me in these fast training weeks. This is my free uh, one week a, a month. I open it up to my free platform here on YouTube and on Instagram and we fast together and I teach you how to train your fasting muscle. So make sure you're participating in each one of these fast training weeks. Okay, key number two, when you go to break your fast, I want you to break it with fat. And this goes whether you fast for 13 hours or you fast for three days. If we wanna keep the benefits of autophagy going, when you break your fast with fat, you typically don't elevate your blood sugar. And so you will stay in autophagy longer, even though the hunger hormone may get turned off. So what does this look like? This looks like an avocado. This looks like MCT oil. Andreas seed oils is my favorite, the five seed oil. I literally will put on a spoon and just drink it straight off of a spoon. If you are not familiar with Andreas seed oils, just put seed oil in the comment. We'll send you a link because that stuff rocks and it is key to letting your fast go longer. So try the five seed oil out. So key number two is you're gonna break your fast with fat. 
Key number three, once you start eating, make sure you do not go over 20 grams of protein. When you go over 20 grams of protein, you kick yourself out of autophagy. The carbs, what they'll do is elevate your blood sugar and too much blood sugar can kick you out. But if you break your fast with a protein that's over 20 grams, you've now completely kicked yourself out of autophagy. So we wanna keep you in autophagy as long as possible. So break your fast with fat, go 17 hours, and then for the rest of the day, keep your protein under 20 grams and you'll keep that autophagy effect uh, going long, long past the fasting period. Okay, number four is you're gonna have to sleep. So sleep is massively important for autophagy. Prior to even understanding autophagy, every time you go to sleep, what's happening is that you are stimulating autophagy. The body repairs itself when we sleep. So get yourself to bed at a good, decent time. I recommend that you get to bed two hours after the sun goes down. That's when the body naturally wants to go to sleep and you wanna get up when the sun gets up. That's the best way to sleep. Those of you, especially the men, my menopausal women out there, if you are struggling with sleep, I know <laughs> I went through a period when people were like, oh, you'll do so much better when you sleep. And I wanted to say like, well, that's great if I could sleep. One of the game changing tools that I use for sleep now is called a chili pad. If you put chili pad in the comments, this is my favorite menopausal tool. I get to control the temperature of my bed. I can bring the temperature of my bed down when your bed temperature goes down under five degrees, lower than your body temperature, it signals the parasympathetic nervous system and you will fall asleep. So it's an amazing tool. A thank you, Chili Pad. You, seriously, those people changed my life. So if you're struggling to sleep and you want more autophagy, make sure you get a Chili Pad. Okay, number five is exercise, but not just any old exercise. It is HIIT training high intensity exercise, 15 to 20 minutes, where you're getting your heart rate up and down. The research done on this is called Tabatis training, and it was done with 30 second intervals where you go all out for 30 seconds with any type of exercise, jumping jacks, running, whatever it is, burpees, and then you rest for 90 seconds. And then you go 30 seconds on, and then you rest for 90 seconds. That is the best way to do autophagy. I'm teaching this in my academy, so come on into my academy. Every Saturday morning, I lead a workout class in there, and we take people through different styles of working out so that we can maximize things like autophagy and growth hormone and testosterone and collagen and all the things I'm teaching here. Okay, so those are the five things. Now, I have some biohacks that are really important for autophagy. Two of my favorite biohacks are red light therapy and hyperbaric oxygen. There is incredible research on both of those that they have the power to stimulate autophagy. Another biohack I love is what we can get in drinks and food, but a lot in drinks, so a lot of teas. We know that coffee, green tea, we know that um, Ceylon tea, ginseng, uh, bergamot, these are all great teas to stimulate autophagy. You can also lean into some spices and like ginger and turmeric. Garlic is great for autophagy. Uh, shaga mushrooms, a lot of you guys have asked me about that over the years. Elderberries, pomegranate, resveratrol. Yes, that's in wine, but make sure it's dry farm wine, which is the cleanest wine available. And then MCT oil. So there you go. There are a lot of ways to maximize autophagy. If you want to know more about how you can live a lifestyle that builds autophagy, I believe 80% of our day should be in autophagy. Join me in my academy. If you're curious about some of these hacks and some of the spices I just talked about and some of my favorite drinks, I don't know if you guys ever meandered over to the store on my page, Dr. Mindy Pell's, but we have vetted every single thing on that page. We have tested it. We have poked holes into it. We know the people behind it. We've asked those companies for discounts to you. So make sure you head on over to my store and get yourself whatever, whatever lights you up and is gonna accelerate your healing response. Last thing, you ready? 
my favorite video, the best performing video on this channel is about autophagy. It's called autophagy fasting. How long should you fast to maximize your health benefits? Go watch it. Go look at the comments. A lot of people had things to say about my glasses. I didn't have a microphone back then. I had lights shining in my glasses. And it is the top performing video on this channel. It is what built this channel and it's all around autophagy. Go entertain yourself with that video. And as always, I hope it helps and put your fasting win in the comments. Okay, if you've made it this far in the video, it's a sign you definitely need to subscribe. And if you wanna learn more, if you love that video and you wanna dive into more of the information I have on this channel, go to this video.